What's up, y'all? I don't know what's kid. <laughs> Same shit, different day. I ain't gonna lift my arms up because I need to shave. All I need to wash my hair. I know y'all see my face in a minute. I've been watching y'all, though. I've been watching my videos. Um, I just ain't really been out here much. Like, I ain't really made no videos because I ain't felt like it. I felt like, I don't know. I feel bad about myself. Like, you know how you have the moments where you like, eh. Mm. Like, you don't even want to leave yourself. Like, I don't know. I had them ugly moments. So, I'm still there. I need to I ain't like my face, but. I mean, I'll shave them off, but you know, I need to trim them down a little bit. But let's see what have I been up to. Um, I still want to get dreads. Even more so now. Even now, more so. Even more so now. I think that's how you say it. Because I saw that it is possible to take your dreads out without cutting them off. You can comb them out. It takes a lot of time, but you can do it. And that's what I plan on doing. Yeah. I still have mine got a perm. My hair is getting natural around the edges. The ends are still kind of straight, but yeah. Today I plan on. I watched this dude video. And he, he like twists his hair. Like, is there such thing as this stuff called I see Fantasia gel or something like that? Because he had a new video, so it has to be such thing. But I asked my mom about it, and she's like, she never heard of it. but yeah, I'm going to go to the store and try to find it because I want to twist my hair. And, like, people said that was good to use, I guess. I really don't know. Like, I've tried to twist my hair before, but I don't think I... Like, I did. I did it before. But it looked crazy because, you know, my hair wasn't completely natural. It was, like, straight. So, it really didn't look that good. And, like, my hair is, like, on the ends. It's, like, natural. But it did. I think the perm's pretty much gone out, like, on the roots. But the ends are, like, still kind of straight. So probably gonna look crazy but I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna twist it while it's wet and put some of that stuff on there or whatever. And maybe I'll show y'all how it looks. Um let's see uh relationship status from the last video I made when I was talking about I need device. Um things got better like right after the video. But like now they're kind of rocky. I think it's just because I just need to see her like meet to each other. Like she needs to be down here. Hopefully, I get her here sometime soon. This is my channel. I'm gonna speak about. What I want to speak about. If my girlfriend get mad about this, or if anybody else has a problem with this, oh well. I'm about to, I'm about to let y'all know the thing. The deal. I mean, it's not even gonna be shamed if a lot of people go through this. But anyway. Okay, so I live in Texas. She lives in New Jersey. I have a job. She doesn't. I'm 20. Well, I'll, be, I'll be 20 Monday. She's 21. I've never dated anybody older than me. I've always dated people younger because I like to feel like I'm in charge. I mean, you can still feel like you're in charge being a, if your spouse or person, lover is older than you. But I always usually tend to migrate towards the young females and probably another um, another reason or me dating a lot of young females because I look young myself I don't look like I'm about to be 20 years old I look probably like I'm about to be 16 or something like that 17 I've, I've even got 14 before but basically I live with my mom she lives with her mom um But like it's like it's like I'm 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 not good at saving money, okay? I can admit that. I'm not gonna save money. I don't have anyone to say, Well I do have like a hundred something dollars in there that's probably gonna be spent today because I need to get some stuff, but I'm not gonna save money. I have a lot of stuff to pay. I have to pay a credit card bill, I have to pay I have to try to give me a card. I gotta pay off my bank bill, I gotta pay off a target bill, and I gotta pay off T level. And that's a lot of stuff, which is probably more than two thousand dollars. Maybe even up to three, four thousand dollars that I need to pay to people because two bills alone are up to a thousand. No, it's two thousand, a thousand piece. Um, I have a lot of stuff I need to pay. I, I want to get my own spot, and I can't do that by myself. And like, my problem is that okay, you with somebody. I mean, I'm not saying okay, 
for her to get a job and then help me pay. I'm saying, like, she wants to be down here. I want her to be down here. And if we gonna work this out and be together and be a couple, I think that she should know. Like, I don't want, like, I want to provide her, you know what I'm saying? But, like, she needs to help me, like, to start off, like, to get a place, you know what I'm saying? If she over there doing her little thing, she get a job, and she's having some money, then we can make it faster for her to be down here. We got our own spot, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I'm trying to get another job now. Like, I'm finna look for another job because I have two jobs. And, like, first thing I need to get is a car, and next, like, pay out some bills, and then give me a place. Like, I'm still saying to my mom. Now, some people might kick them out, sir, but I'm staying here with my mom. I still have the, you know, pleasure or the, I don't know, the word, to stay here with my mom. Like, get free food, you know, free showers, free places around my head. So, I mean, that's cool. But, like, the problem is, like, I keep telling her to get a job, and I keep telling her to do this, do that, you know, and she's not doing it. Like, she keeps saying, okay, baby, I am, I am. But she keeps saying it, but she's not doing it. Like, it's one thing to say that you're going to do something, but it's another thing to actually get up and do it. Like, I told her, I'm not going to tell you no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, she says she want to see me, and blah, blah, blah. You can't see me if you're not helping me to get you down here. Like, just for her to come down here, it's going to be, like, a, a $400 for a ticket. Like, on the bus for, like, $400. I don't know how much it is I'm playing, but she don't want to follow here because she's scared. Like, I'm scared to fly, too. Like, I understand that, but it's going to be like 400 or something for her to come down here. Like, I don't have a car, so it's going to be kind of stupid for her to come down here and I don't have a way to go get her. So, I have to try to get somebody to rent me a car because I think I'm too young. Go find a place to rent a car just to have her down here. So, it's already 400 for her to come down here. And I don't know how much. I think it's around a round trip, but hopefully it is. Probably like another 200, 300 just for me to rent a car for like that weekend she's here. If she want to do stuff, I got to have another couple hundred dollars to do something. If I'm in the hotel, because she's not staying in my house, I got to have some more money. So that's all the money. Like, if she got a job, she can help me with some of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but she don't have a job, and I have like one, dollar, uh, one job for myself that pays 7 60 an hour. I only work like 50 hours a week or something like that. Every two weeks. Like 50 hours, maybe 60. So it's not a lot. I mean, I can't do this myself. That's what I'm saying. Like, can you help me? Like, please. I mean... And then, like, I, like, I know her. Like, if I keep bringing up to her and stuff like this, she don't get mad. She's like, I'm trying to get an attitude back. Like, I'm not trying to jump down your throat, you know, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you're 21. Like, you, you're, you're grown. Like, I mean, it's okay to be still with your mom, but you need to do something. Like, get a job. And I'm not trying to down her enough for that. Like, I feel the same way. Like, as soon as, as, soon as I got graduated and I, fit, and I figured out that I'm going to take a a break from school, which turned into some else, because I've been in high school for two years, and I took some classes, but I ended up dropping out. But as soon as I got, as soon as I got out of school, and I wasn't going to be going right off to college, mom was like, "You need to get a job." It's first thing she said to me, and that's what I did. I got a job. So ever since then, I've been having a job. I've been like without a job. Like I quit my job because I thought I was gonna get another job somewhere else. So that was July, and I got right back into another job October. So July, August, August, September, so I'm like. Three months I was without a job. Other than that, I've been having a job. If I'm not school, I'm not doing this. I'm going to have a job. I'm not going to sit around the house all day. Like, that is, it makes me feel bad. Like, it even makes me feel bad that I'm not in school. So, I mean, she even said she feel bad about it or whatever, but she's not doing nothing about it. Like, like do, do y'all think that's wrong for me to be wanting her to get a job so she can help me out so we can be together? Like, is that wrong for me to be asking her about it? Like, it's not like I ask her every day. Like, I wait a couple of days and I go, okay, did you go find a job? She's like, no, I'm sorry. She keeps saying, I'm sorry, but she's still not doing it. Like, now she's not doing anything. Right now she's just at her sister's house. Not doing anything. And we're, like, in the process of an argument. Because, I don't know, we just, yeah. I think I went over. The video on Green Mom is 10 or is it 10? Alright, deuces.